The fair tax is really very, uh, very easy, and that is we get rid of all personal, business, and corporate income taxes, payroll taxes to the federal government. We are going to replace one paradigm, a tax on income at the federal level, with a different paradigm, a tax on consumption at the federal level. The average tax burden for the, Ameri for the average American household right now is, interestingly enough, about 33%. So what do you want to do? Do you want to pay 33% of everything you earn, or do you want to pay 23% of everything you spend? We're going to spend $350 billion filling out IRS paperwork. We're getting rid of 67,000 pages and replacing it with 132 pages. I don't think it's that complicated. When April the 15th comes along, you go on a picnic and remember how miserable it was for your parents uh, in years gone by. And it'll, it, that'll never work. Uh, wait a minute. Of what value is the home mortgage interest deduction if you don't pay income taxes? I mean, Congressman Linder has this great line. That's like walking into Publix with a 20% off coupon for bread and then pitching a fit because they're giving away bread that day and your coupon's worthless. The, t the city of Washington has about 32 to 34,000 lobbyists in it now. That's about doubled since I've been there. 53% uh, are paid to lobby the tax code. Their business is the tax code. And if we get rid of it, what are they to do? In, in a sense, the fair tax, folks, and this is where we need you, it is tax reform. But what it really is is a tax revolution. Revolutions do not start in the halls of power. They start with the people. This is something that has to come from the bottom up. It's not going to come from the top down. There are 511,000 elected officials in America. They need to hear from you, all of them need to hear from you.